you know, I was uh, uh, very keen uh, about the uh, new home uh, warranty program when it was uh, first came out because I campaigned for it uh, for a long time five or six years, um, because what we were finding was that the normal warranty period that was uh, granted to single-family homes, but in my case to condominium uh, uh, buildings or to multifamily buildings, uh, townhouse uh, uh, sort of accommodation, or even to multifamily rental buildings, um, the, the warranty would run out before the problems were discovered because the problems were uh, often internal and pretty severe. And so we are still finding uh, condos that have discovered that their balconies or their windows were leaking and the water is running internally through the uh, sort of wooden skeleton of the, uh, of the complex and it's rotting out floors and uh, face uh, the coverings on the decks and the walkways and by the time you figure this all out it's a mess. So the effect is the assessment to those individuals was ranging any, I think the lowest one I ever heard was 8,000. Uh, I heard 30,000 a lot uh, and somebody got way up there in the kind of 70s or 80,000 which I, I can't imagine how you would manage to pay for that uh, on top of your fees and your living expenses and your mortgage. So it was really important to me that we, um, as, as leaders and legislators, come up with a program that was going to be able to be used by uh, groups like my condo owners that discovered the problems long after the one-year warranty. So this uh, New Home Buyer Protection Amendment Act uh, really went uh, a long way to satisfying that and I was really happy to see it. Thank you very much. Um, so I was, um, I, you know, I've gone through all of the um, different sections. Um, it's being described as sort of minor administration and technical, which is actually a pretty good term for it. It is things like changing it uh, to a protection period and identifying exactly when uh, everything starts, rental use designation, uh, which was the one I was questioning on, uh, and that's a new piece that's been added in. Um, so that's, that's actually quite a big new piece. Um, the start date for the warranty coverage, which I talked about. Um, the registrar to, uh, it's empowering the registrar to determine when, uh, um, which buildings qualify as a new home uh, under this, um, when a penalty can be appealed and whether somebody has to pay it and then get it back or what's the deal with that. So it's just a lot of little small things that are needed to make this whole thing operate better. And since I was so darn keen on having it in the first place, um, it, uh, I, there's nothing being done here that I disagree with. I really want this program to work. It's really important to my constituents in the fabulous constituency of Edmonton Centre and in fact to everybody uh, in Alberta who's buying a new home, whether it's a condo or a single family or semi-detached. Uh, my thanks to the people in the department that worked on this. Uh, I really appreciate your effort and I, I think you've done a nice job there. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I urge everyone uh, to vote in favour of second reading of Bill 6.